All of the artwork you see here at the Collective Palette Studio has been created by adults with developmental disabilities. Over the past two and a half years that we've been open, uh, we've been able to sell over $3,000 uh, of art that our individuals have, have created. 90% of the money earned from sales goes back to the artist. And the other 10% just goes to pay the, the rent and taxes and, and whatever else we have uh, uh, fees for. Ross Burge is one of the board members for the Collective Palette, a collaboration between REM Ohio, CIFRIN, the Trumbull County Board of Developmental Disabilities, and the Western Reserve Independent Living Center. We provide a space for people to come and focus on their abilities instead of their disabilities. The organization rents the space in the Fine Arts Council of Trumbull County's Art on Park building on the square in downtown Warren. A couple years ago, the board had decided, and our uh, past uh, director, um, we decided that it would um, it might be wise to make a move to find our own location. So I have like seven pieces going on at the same time right now. Fine Arts Council President James Shudik, who also rents a studio in Art on Park, says previously the organization shared a space with the Trumbull Neighborhood Partnership just down the road. The opportunity just revealed itself and um, there was a space open literally a couple doors down and it seemed like a right fit. It gives us a space out of which to do the programming and it gives us an identity on Courthouse Square and hopefully through signage and, and other things that we're working on it'll give uh, a, a really good location to advertise for our other arts organizations. Treasurer Bill Mullane has been working with the Fine Arts Council since its inception in the 70s. A group of business people here in the region uh, decided that it was really important to create an umbrella organization that could represent the many different arts organizations that existed uh, in the county at the time. Mullane says the idea was to promote collaboration between the groups involved. Today they are achieving that goal through various events put on by the council. The type of events over the years, they've changed um, the events that were done in the past as, as opposed to now. But some of the ones, uh, we have some that are going, have been going pretty strong for a while now. Um, Ghost Walk being one of them, as well as Noon in the Park. Um, that's been going on for a while. That's about, a, we, we hold that uh, every Friday, typically in June, July. Um, for about a month and we have uh, free music for the public to come downtown and kind of enjoy. Uh, we do things like art hops, uh, which we've done now for a few years. That's one of our uh, newer programs that's worked out quite well. The council is also helping other arts organizations get off the ground. One of the things that you can do uh, as an arts council is loan your 501c3 to other organizations by being coming their fiscal sponsor or their fiscal agent. The Robbins Project is an example of an external project that became part of us. Uh, we were fiscal agent for uh, the uh, Power of the Arts for its first five years. It's now its own 501c3. The Legal Creative, we were their initial fiscal agent. They're now their own 501c3. The Fine Arts Council has also worked with the Collective Palette to get three of their artists a $3,000 grant from the Ohio Arts Council. Just an opening grant for one year so that the ladies have, um, you know, money to, to continue with uh, art education, uh, to buy supplies for their arts, uh, whatever it may, may be that they need. And the kind of collaboration we do is we provide the uh, space, the exhibition uh, opportunities, uh, we work with our other groups to work with them, and then we can loan our arts expertise to the grant. So when we write an arts grant, uh, there's an arts organization there at the table. Just across the hall from the Collective Palette Studio is the Mikey Fied Fund for Adult Autism. Co-founder and president Mauro Diviesti says the ultimate goal of Mikey Fied is to provide 24-hour care for adults with autism. This is our office where we uh, do um, we display the children's artwork for uh, those that are uh, autistic. They do artwork for us and donate it to us. And uh, we display them, we sell them. Uh, they help our fund out by donating the works to us. Upstairs is the studio of Carl Henneman of Zen Street Arts. It's a group that I started that works with kind of like more non-traditional art, uh, street art, a lot of graffiti art, 
His studio is painted for a previous exhibition event held at Art on Park. We do a special type of shows and whatnot through the year, open houses. Encourage them um, when we do events to be open. They also have their own um, events going on and open houses and workshops. This is a, um, a very uh, tight-knit, very helpful group. The Fine Arts Council has been really big on being the facilitator for these events that we have been putting together. They're all willing to help each other out and uh, we're you know happy to be a part of that. It was it was really great timing when they stepped in and, and let us know that they had space available for us. Fact was uh, was the reason we got this building. Without that, we wouldn't have these studio spaces. 